Hello everyone and welcome back to 5 minutes for Revit. And today we will be speak about the groups. How to use groups, how to use it correct and why we should use the groups. So, let's start. And once again, I will use the sample project. First I will go to the uh, first level. Let's go to the first level. Uh, this is our wall and let's create some window. We will use now a group for window, for example like this. Uh, let's select all the windows. I will check, yes, six windows. And here, create the group. First it's about the naming. Remember, we are creating the groups by levels. So it means level one underscore window. Okay. This is, will be easy if you have the so tall building, you understand, aha, uh -huh, this is level 1, aha, uh -huh, this is level 3, it's easy for you. This is about the organizing. If you go to the uh, groups here and the model, you will find it here. It's, it will be so useful. Okay, next, let's go to 3D view. Ah, no, that's bad view. No, let's go here. So we have our windows, let's copy it, just click on, the, on them and copy only uh, like uh, f from this uh, board. Just copy, paste and align to select view, not just uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And let's select uh, these two levels. So our windows we have on the level 2 and level 3 also. Uh, so what the reason why we using the groups? We using the groups to make him, to make our life so easy. For example, again, uh, let's open this group here. Edit the group, and for example, I want um, change the window on this side. Maybe for that window. Um, okay, maybe here will be toilet. I want on a small window here and still high. Maybe like six, like this. Let's do. Maybe it's like toilet here, and let's apply it. And as you see, this all windows here was changed. Uh, what also, what uh, what else you can do? For example, by tab, just choose the window and uh, uh, click on this command, and you can just hide it on this level. It's really so useful. Uh, or, or you can add some window, just go to inside the, into this group and put some new window I don't know maybe here yeah this is wrong cause cause they wall anyway okay I know and you get all windows uh, also you can do these things with windows the doors walls exterior walls interior walls and also the you can use for the curtain system uh, you should try to organize your work. So when I'm speaking about the organize, I should show you what I mean. Uh, I will go to the level one. I will show you fast, uh, and I will create a wall. Let's create some exterior wall like this from the uh, level one. No entire. And uh, yes, it's it's level two. Okay, let's create like this. Um, this all win this all exterior uh, walls will be in one group like uh, level level one exterior windows oh exterior wall sorry okay nice let's create one more I want create the window. One here, one here, one here, one here, maybe here, here. Let's choose it. Check none. Windows groups level one. Windows. Okay, nice. So the correct work with groups is like this. Uh, I will delete this uh, trees. And now last step, let's copy it. I'll select everything. 
I'll make sure this is two groups. Yes, it is. I'll copy it and paste to align views, to align levels, sorry. Here we are. And again, so what we get? I'm choosing the groups of window, edit group. I'm changing this window to smallest one and apply. As you see, for example, I don't need this window. Just by top and close it. Um, same with walls. Let's go to the group of walls, edit group, this wall. Let's make it interior. Here we are. You don't need here the walls. Maybe you want to hear the curtain system. Okay, let's hide it. Done. And few extra things. Let's go to the first level. Uh, actually, to the plan. And uh, let's say you want to create many toilets. Just by tap, we will rotate our the family. Let's put our family. Uh, let's create the wall and let's choose some interior wall, tiny like this. And let's create the wall, maybe like this. Uh, let's first put the, some door. It doesn't matter now. I just show you the principle work with the groups. Um, I don't know, maybe like uh, two side door. Let's uh, select all these things and let's create the group and toilet. It will be just group the toilet. So, for example, we delayed it. We forgot about uh, our group. Now we're going to the model group here on the architecture and place model group. And here we have the toilet. It's pretty easy, right? You just can place whenever you want. After that you can align it. Just AL. Let's align it. And as you see we have the different object in one group it's really easy and uh, Revit uh, remember this group he is saving like an object so uh, this is as I said about uh, making your life so easily uh, thank you for watching guys tomorrow I will put the next video and see you tomorrow